ज्यादा देव हवा है तेने तो आप आपको शोधा जरा नको है शोधू नहीं सत्तावीस को प्रोजेक्ट बसत बर का कमर्शलाइजेशन ऑफ रिलीजन एंड हाउ द पॉलिटिशियंस आर using the faith of uh, simple people to get their votes and how they are manipulating uh, that uh, essence of faith odana sadki ni ek ekala sangun thev to konala sonnar nahi tumhi ka driver e ka making our first film varu uh, we shot in a in a small village near pune and uh, the villagers helped us from uh, all ways like uh, from all sides and when we asked them ki what can we do for you like uh, we want to kind of, as a, a token of the gratitude we want to kind of give you something so what shall we do shall we make a library in the in the village or shall we make a toilet because there was no uh, proper built toilet in the village uh, so they said that no don't do anything we just uh, give us some money to make uh, a, 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 to renovate the temple and they had a very beautiful satwahan kalin temple in that village and uh, it it kind of triggered some kind of uh, questions that why why do they want uh, to rebuild the temple instead of actually having Uh, more important things in the in the village um, i come from a, vil- a, a village which is not very far from pune it's 70 kilometers from pune it's called karnaudi and we had a very beautiful tiled roof a very simple very small temple in the village and uh, i keep going to the village so it's after 3 4 months when i went i discovered that they had completely like uh, renovated that temple by building a cement concrete Uh, structure which almost looks like a small shop and uh, all the people in the village were very happy that they did service to the god uh, it, and it's not just the question of my village or uh, like the other village everywhere you f- find that people are not uh, uh, so any politician or any 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 money which comes to a village they actually put it in the uh, in the temple than actually building other other amenities which are more essential so uh, it was one kind of uh, inspiration uh, the other inspiration was i used to do uh, i was collecting lots of uh, important uh, old uh, songs uh, and these songs are mostly these singers they come from the places the pilgrimage centers and so i uh, for one year i was going to lots of pilgrimage center from maharashtra and then i was trying to find these people and record the songs from them and there i discovered that all the uh, all these temples the pilgrimage temples have become almost a center uh, for uh, like a commercial center and then it's it's not really right to immediately tag it that you know like some these people are like making the uh, temple into a commercial activity but we have to go to the root cause of the issue and that is all the youth from the village uh, where the television has reached and so they can see the kind of development and the kind of growth of the people in the cities but at the same time it's f- for them uh, there is no means to actually achieve it and they are completely cut off from the farming and at the same time they don't get jobs like the city people uh, get so what exactly is happening with this youth of uh, of the rural india is also another concern so all these things they came together to form the story of uh, the film called devu i think uh, with the advent of the digital technology the whole activity of filmmaking is completely democratized 
and people from smaller villages, small places, small towns, they uh, they can access these cameras and they can make films. And it's really good sign for Indian independent filmmakers because earlier it was very difficult to make films. So you want you have to have a big producer and you have to have a big uh, setup to make films. And now it has completely changed uh, thanks to the digital technology. But having digital technology, it doesn't really mean that uh, one can make a good film because making a film is is a completely different, uh, uh, it's a different journey and it's a different kind of a uh, sadhana, uh, what we can say. So I think people who are uh, wanting to tell their own stories from all these small or even cities, they, they can uh, utilize uh, this technology and make important, good, independent, completely offbeat films. And fortunately, now these films can also be uh, released on, say, for example, YouTube, or there is a way which earlier it was impossible. If, even if you make a film, there was no way that you could have shown the film in a theater. Uh, I feel that uh, in 60s, 70s, there was a very important uh, film movement uh, film society movement which was happening and I think we again need uh, a revival of the film society movement where people used to go to because in Kerala I, I know some of my friends used to go to different villages and they used to screen films and that collectively watching a film on a big screen is a completely different experience and I'm in that sense a very uh, an orthodox in terms of the experience of cinema. I feel that using a laptop and watching a film on mobile is, is not really uh, giving justice to the art form. So in that sense, I think if this movement is, is revived and it, in some way or the other, I think people will again come back together and they will start enjoying these kind of films which are different films and independent films. So I think both ways I think it, it should work both ways because if many films are being made and if they are not qualitatively good then again it will we will go back to uh, a certain kind of uh, state which we were in. So um, I think the distribution and making with the makers also need to make these films very genuinely and uh, with effortfully and there has to be a completely different independent distribution channels for these films. I think we should have in India, smaller screens, say 50 people or 100 people screens, and uh, they should be run by the local, uh, you know, local groups, as th these are small theatres, and then maybe we can screen our independent films for uh, in in our state, at least, because it's very difficult to release the films uh, in the big uh, theatres with the kind of numbers and with the kind of uh, publicity uh, which the mainstream or the uh, commercial industry do, uh, the Hindi films, they, they spend crores of rupees on publicity, which is completely not possible for an independent filmmaker. And um, I feel that independent films are not only for film festivals. They should be actually, if they are not seen uh, in the, with the audience, if they are not shared with the audience of that particular community, then uh, overall perception about looking at these films will not change and uh, that is equally important and I think uh, it can, you know, like Kerala is a, is a best place to start some other completely new kind of experiment in terms of distribution. I am very happy that uh, after the whole uh, digital kind of uh, intervention, like when the, the whole film uh, process change to, to digital uh, and then at the same time there were lots of film festivals happening in like the Pune started a film festival and smaller cities in Maharashtra started film festivals then there are these media schools which started opening so people from different places uh, like smaller places smaller towns uh, they uh, started engaging in the activity of filmmaking and they, they were the, these films the international films were accessible to them some of them they uh, went on uh, having education in the in the media and that and then these this digital technology actually arrived so all of it culminated into these kind of films it, it's a i think it's uh, it's very important that uh, the 
the films which are tackling these issues are not uh, made by people who are outside of it so people are trying to communicate their own stories and that is the reason these films are very effective like a film like fandry where nagraj actually he, he talks about his own experience uh, the experience that he has seen from seen closely and that's why he can make a film which is like uh, very effective there, there's another uh, there are several films like that which is and they're also screened uh, they're getting screened on the big screen and they're releasing and people are watching these films it's a it's a, it's a very important uh, time i think for uh, for for the movement and for a certain kind of uh, you know breaking of certain norms because previous to that the film uh, as a medium was actually uh, kind of in in control of a of a certain elite class which is uh, which is kind of changing the the distribution is completely difficult because it's very difficult for an independent producer to release the film first of all we are making some 100 125 films every year so every time uh, every friday we have two three four marathi film releases at the same time there are hindi film releases and hindi film uh, publicity budgets are way too high uh, compared to the marathi budgets so it's very difficult to f- uh, to find and to compel and to create a compulsion of watching a film in the first week and if your film is not seen in the first week and if the theaters are not full the film is actually thrown out of the theaters uh, after the first week so it's it's a kind of uh, dichotomy because otherwise we used to our audience is used to go to theaters once they uh, hear good things about it so basically it it's a audience which believes in mouth publicity which believes in someone recommending that film and that uh, that takes some time and but by that time your film is already out of the theaters so and you can't put that kind of money in the publicity because you don't know if your film is going to even if it's running well still sometimes it has to be uh, kind of thrown out of the uh, screen so i think all these things they, they need a certain kind of a uh, you know like we have to make better films we have to have in our budget budget should increase so that we can make equal uh, amount of publicity like the hindi uh, films and then make the presence much more stronger but even though even if it's difficult some marathi films have actually made it possible to uh, to outgrow uh, the the constraints and that's the real hope for uh, for marathi filmmakers every time whenever there were decisions which deviated the the basic purpose and cause of having a film school uh, students have come together to to create uh, a certain kind of voice and they say what they feel like making so it, it, we have a trajectory of of strikes in the fti i think strike is not uh, unfortunately the, the identity of fti has become that there there it's a place where lots of strikes happen but actually that's not true uh, fti is also a place where there are a lot of young filmmakers whose work is uh, is shown in international film festivals and international forums outside india so in a way the students of fti they also represent indian cinema in a certain way not entirely but in a uh, substantially so apart from strikes i think it's a great place to to learn cinema because uh, it has a very good energy uh, the, that place and the way it's uh, the the kind of uh, changes which has happened in last few years uh, it it's you know we have to see what what exactly is happening uh, with with the kind of changes which are being made because there are lots of issues which constantly one has to tackle and one has to make uh, effort to and trial and error systems to 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 uh, still achieve uh what a student is really uh, yearning for uh and it's not also easy because the technology is changing and we we have the equipment uh, in the institute which is like old equipment then they have to change the equipments and so all these systems have to constantly uh get in tune with the time and it's not a easy task 
अपनी धुन में चल पड़ा रे चल चला रे साधु राही राही चलते रहना गगन भर है जादू गगन भर है जादू अपनी धुन में चल पड़ा रे चल चला रे साधु there are different kinds of documentaries and over the period of time the whole form of documentaries is evolved uh, immensely so what we understand as documentaries is is a certain kind of documentaries but i i think that the the arena or the expanse of the form of documentaries is uh, in in today's time is really very very encouraging and uh, along with feature films i'm also trying to make uh, short films and short fiction films and documentaries uh, there's also some some way i'm trying to uh, merge these two genre of uh, or this tags because i don't like calling a film either a documentary or a fiction so i'm trying a space which is neither a documentary nor a fiction it's a it's a film so uh, but it's not necessarily every documentary is of course every film is a political statement but in that sense yes but otherwise uh, there are several other the uh, things in life which uh, you know which are important to be uh, to be intervened or to be uh, a, to be engaged or to be uh, to understand so making a film is not uh, to to critique something it's uh, basically for me it's more to understand something it's to understand what exactly is the dynamics of the things that are important to us uh so i feel that uh, uh it it should be the the boundaries of the uh of how an a documentary is understood also needs to to change and along with that i think we don't have any way or any means to in, to showcase documentaries made in india we don't have a channel uh, uh, india makes lots of like short films and very good documentaries there are like in last few years we have seen indian documentary filmmakers doing excellent work their films are shown outside of india they are shown on the televisions of other countries but unfortunately we don't have a channel which showcases documentaries and i think we uh, seriously need a channel dedicated to indian uh, documentary content central board of film certification should just give whether it's a adult film or like they should give these uh, age things apart from that i think let people decide whether what they want to uh, see and what they uh, want to reject i think our audience has to be more mature and that will only happen if they take the responsibility of you know which film they want to go to and let them uh, decide which films they want to support and which films they don't want to to go to and i think any kind of censorship because censorship is not just Uh, created by uh, these uh, government institutes but they are also uh, there there is also off uh, these institutes spon- uh, censorship because if you kind of give a certain kind of surname to a character and if that character is uh, is a bad character then that particular caste will object to uh, a film so it's it has become immensely impossible to name the characters in our films or uh, or even say anything which is uh, particularly uh, you know saying criticizing anything about a community or about uh, a certain kind of uh, profession and i think all these censorships i think it's a film is a very easy target so any anything against a film gets a, a good publicity and it's many times it's used for that when we were trying to release our film deul we had threats and we had uh, you know like uh, it was almost we were not knowing in the morning that whether the film is going to get released or not and the state actually supported us uh, to release the film because everywhere they they put their uh, police force and so in that sense it, i think it's uh, the state should protect an artist to to communicate and to convey uh what one feels like communicating because we uh we are trying to say what is coming from the conscious of of this place and of this time film 
हाईवे इज अबाउट टूडेज टाइम एंड ऑफ एन अर्बन लाइफ सो इन अ वे वी हैव सम थर्टी फाइव कैरेक्टर्स हु आर ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम बॉम्बे टू पूना एंड इन इन द जर्नी सम पीपल हैव देर ओन व्हीकल्स एंड सम पीपल आर इन अ शेयर टैक्सी एंड सम पीपल आर इन अ ट्रक एंड जीप एंड टेम्पो एंड थ्रू दीज पीपल एंड देर कॉन्वर्सेशन वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अवर टाइम ऑफ टूडे सो दैट दैट वॉज द एफर्ट ऑल्सो इन टूडेज टाइम वेर वी आर कॉन्स्टेंटली ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड दीज बिग हाईवे सो दैट यू कैन रीच अ डेस्टिनेशन एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो द होल लाइफ हैज बिकम लाइक रीचिंग इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट दैन द जर्नी एंड इट्स एंड द होल जॉय ऑफ एक्चुअली going from one place to another is completely taken over by reaching at one place in a in the most effective uh, less time so i think it's also uh, understanding what exactly this change is doing and so highway in a way becomes a metaphor of uh, of a place which where no one has any time to look at uh, look around but just to reach faster every filmmaker uh, has their own way of uh, approaching the cinema and uh, everything is right and everything uh, you can't say that this is the only way so everyone will discover uh, one's own way of approaching and doing uh, a film so i we definitely write the complete script with the dialogues because we have immense constraints in terms of our budgets so we have a very limited number of days to shoot and we have uh, limited resources so in that we can't afford to uh, to go on the set and then see what happens which is like as a as a matter of you know trying out this method i i have tried it in uh, in the in the documentary that we made called kumbh so where we did not have any script and i uh took two actors and a cinematographer and the sound designer and two other friends who were helping us and then we discovered things while shooting the film which is also kind of liberating and interesting process in itself but i uh have not afforded it to do it for a feature film and also i don't think that it's uh, you know it works for a certain kind of films with a certain kind of budgets and uh, with a certain kind of ability of the director uh, also needs to be uh, in tune with this process so uh, i i'm quite fascinated with this process itself because i quite liked i enjoyed it when i was doing it for kumbh but uh, i don't think it's um, it's that easy for me to to make it for a feature film